Hello, welcome to another episode of Two Minutes on Tuesday. This week we're going to talk about a comparison of the 30-year fixed rate loan with the 15-year fixed rate loan. This is a difficult discussion to have with most people. I enjoy having it because my answer is so different than what most people, uh, when they give this advice, uh, is so different. Uh, a lot of the financial advisors will say, oh yeah, take the 15 year, 100% of the time, you're gonna be so much better off. We hear this time and time again. Some of the people who do seminars on financial security and financial freedom, they're always saying, never take a 30 year loan. And I'm here to argue that that's not good advice all the time. And I say that with a straight face because I'm dead serious. Think about a 15 year loan and think about your being locked into a higher payment for 15 years. Now, if we had the crystal ball and we knew your cash flow wasn't gonna change, your job wasn't gonna change, if you bought a house together with someone else like a wife or a spouse or husband, if you knew that wasn't gonna change and you always have the same income and the same debt, yeah, 15 years would probably be the best way to go because in 15 years it's paid off and you've got all that equity. However, life throws curveballs at every one of us. And I say that with 100% confidence. There's bumps in the roads for, for everybody. No matter what your financial situation is, we all experience unexpected expenses or curves in life. And for that reason, I think it's better in most cases for the average person to take a 30-year fixed rate loan. Now, you can still pay that house off in 15 years if you want. No problem. We just set up an amortization schedule and I show you what the monthly payment you would need to make every month. Even though you have a 30 year loan, you can prepay principal and have that house pay off in 15 years if you want. But here is the benefit and this is big, really big. Let's say life does throw you a curveball and for four months or six months or eight months or even a year, your cash flow is down and you're feeling it. I mean, you don't have the extra cash to pay that 15 payment. So what do you do? Since you're on a 30 year loan, you just set your house payment back to the 30 year. You just write your check for the minimum payment that you required to make. And you do that until your cash flow bounces back where you were used to it being. And then you start making the 15 year payment again. Two big benefits come out of this. Number one, if you were locked into that 15 year loan, you have some decisions to make. One, do you have to sell the house because you can no longer afford it? Or two, do you have to refinance the house and turn around and get yourself on a 30 year loan? Well, if you lost your job, you're not gonna be able to refinance the house in most cases because you're gonna need employment in order to qualify for that loan. If you get laid off, the same thing happens. So by taking that 30 year loan up front, making that 15 year payment, you're probably gonna be safer and better off than if you took that 15 year loan. Now, if we had the crystal ball and we knew nothing was gonna change in your life, then yeah, I give you the advice, take the 15, you get a little lower interest rate and you're guaranteed the house will pay off in 15 years. But we don't know that. None of us know that for sure. So the safety and security of the 30 year gives you a lot more breathing room and I think there's value in that. And just to give you a comparison, $150,000 loan, four and three quarter percent interest, 30 year, that payment right now is 782.47. Take the same loan, 150,000, four and a half percent, 15 year, 1147.49. So the 15 year is $365 and two cents more a month. And so that's the difference. And if you are like, oh, I can always come up with 365.02 no matter what extra on and beyond, and you're 100% sure that's the case, then maybe the 15's for you. But I know most of my clients, if money got tight, they'd wanna be safe, secure, and know they got a place to live. They don't wanna uproot their family, their children, out of the house that they've grown up in because cash flow got tight. So um, safe, better safe than sorry. Most cases, I think that probably is a, is a good plan. And if you wanna accelerate the loan and pay it off faster, 30-year mortgage, I'll give you the 15 year payment. You make that payment every month. It'll pay off in the exact same time period, but you're a lot safer and you can sleep at night. How's that sound? Anyway, got questions? Call me, Sam Miller, 740-397-7800 or email me, samsells at sammiller.com. Until next week, thank you, bye.